And tonight we are remembering local teen JJ Falcon who passed away over the weekend after a long hard fought battle with cancer. His family announcing funeral arrangements with services on Sunday at JK Northway Exposition Center with a burial to follow on Monday. Yeah, the 18 year old Santa Gertrudis High School graduate is known as someone who made a lasting impact on anyone he met. Our Bill Churchwell first brought you his courageous story back in January as he returned to the arena for the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show. He went on to win his division. And tonight we are hearing about the lasting impact JJ will have on his friends, his fellow 4-H members, and the Livestock Show. Bill joins us now with that story. Bill. And I had the honor of interviewing JJ during his cancer battle. And what amazed me the most is that despite everything he was going through, he didn't let his diagnosis get in the way of doing the things he loved, surrounded by the people he loved most. He's just honest, just who he was. Hunter Fox says he will always remember his friend JJ for his strength and heart. I don't think I could say even a fraction of what needs to be said. But if there is anything I have to say, it's just he, he was truly a good person. There's nothing else that he could have done or he didn't do to help people more than he did. Fox was by JJ's side as he pushed through his cancer battle, making a triumphant return in January to the Nueces County Junior Livestock Show, a moment he will never forget. JJ winning his division in Market Go. I think that was one of the biggest moments I've ever had. That, not even that I've ever had the biggest moment I've been a part of. JJ passed away Sunday at the age of 18 after a long battle with cancer that started in his leg and eventually spread to his lungs. He had always been determined not to let his diagnosis define who he was or limit what he could do. His perseverance impacted, I'd say, a lot of people. George Foskey was a 4-H ambassador with JJ. I came to know JJ, uh, my mom was his fifth grade teacher, and him and my brother were very good friends. He says he was more than a friend. That was his middle school and elementary school. He, he was a big brother. All around great guy. He never put on a face for anybody. He was just himself. He was, it was a great way to see him as a person. I think everybody looked up to him. JJ would go on to attend prom and even graduate high school. Aside from his time in 4-H and the livestock show, his other passion was sports, especially baseball. That's him here with his idol, Coastal Bend native and New York Yankee, Jose Trevino. JJ would also get a chance to serve as an honorary member of the Savannah Bananas baseball team, an amazing young man whose impact will be forever felt by everyone he met, including this reporter. These were his words the last time we spoke. I never wanted it to overtake my my faith and hope of what I can do and how I live my life. Now his family sharing the news of JJ's passing on Sunday night and making sure to say no more fighting and that this was a battle won. Visitation will be held 3 to 6 p.m. Sunday at JK Northway Center with a funeral service to follow at 6 p.m. A final viewing will be held at 9 a.m. Monday with burial following at 10 a.m. at the Chamberlain Cemetery in Kingsville. And we'll be sure to have all of this information on our website, KTRIPLITV.com. Back to you. All right, Bill, thank you for that report. And of course, our condolences and our hearts um, with the Falcon family tonight. Also, a GoFundMe account has been set up to help his family through this difficult time. Very sad. We'll be right back.